Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the studio. In this video, I'm going to be providing a comprehensive guide on starting your guitar journey. Essentially, this video is meant for someone who um, just has the desire to want to learn guitar, but they have no idea where to start, what gear to buy, where to go to buy the gear, or um, you know where to go to practice and uh, pick up some techniques. So I'm gonna be covering all of those things in this video, uh, as well as offering some practical tips at the end. So this will be a long video, so I will have timestamps in the video as well as in the description below. So I think why my perspective is, is kind of unique is that I started learning as an adult. Um, I didn't really have a lot of resources out there, so a lot of the information and the knowledge that I'm providing to you, I've learned over two and a half years of playing. Um, just simply by watching YouTube videos myself and piecing things together and trying out gear and acquiring more gear uh, Trying out some different things and so essentially this is two and a half years of my knowledge uh, being boiled down Into a condensed short formatted video So this video is geared more towards an electric guitar player though You can apply the lessons that I'm going to be recommending as well as the practical tips at the end towards acoustic guitar um, that being said, you know, if you would like to see some acoustic gear recommendations specifically, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's jump into the first topic of where I would suggest someone to buy their first guitar and their gear from. Okay, everybody, so when it comes to starting off with buying gear, I think a common place that a lot of people would go is Amazon. Uh, Amazon is obviously a very convenient place to purchase anything. Um, and you can see I just put in electric guitars for the search here and it came up with a lot of different options um, and it, it's appealing right because a lot of them are lower cost here um, this one for example is only $80 so the thing that I worry about with potentially buying something from Amazon and I've never bought an electric guitar through Amazon but just thinking through it is the electrical components and so within the body of the guitar um, when you plug it into an amp um, essentially, essentially that sound, the sound of that guitar is amplified through, through the amp. Um, and so, and what does that is the electrical components within the guitar. And so with brands like this, and again, I've never tried any of these. Clearly people have had some very positive experiences just based off the initial ratings here. But what I'm trying to communicate is that the electrical components inside the guitar might not be that good. So I would be worried about potentially buying something like a guitar from Amazon just to start off with because you don't want to buy something and then within, you know, four or five, six months, the components fail within the guitar and then um, there's nothing that you can really do about it. So what I would recommend um, instead of Amazon is going to a site called Sweetwater. Um, and so it's just, you know, simply, uh, sweetwater.com and, um, Sweetwater is just known across the industry for being, uh, kind of the place to go to for electrical, um, or for just instruments in general. Um, and that's just not coming from me. I think if you go on YouTube, if you go on any type of site, you're going to see that Sweetwater time and time again, um, is highly recommended. So like, just basically think of Sweetwater as the Amazon, um, of music of musical instruments, if you will. Um, so why I'm recommending purchasing your gear or your starter gear here through Sweetwater, um, a couple reasons why. One, they're just, they're very personal and friendly. One thing that I really like um, is that you get a dedicated sales engineer. And um, one thing that I really like personally is that you can actually text your sales engineer. So it's very easy to talk to them. Overall, they make it very, very easy to communicate with them overall so you'll get a personalized um, person but really the biggest reason that I'm suggesting Sweetwater is the free two-year warranty and so essentially what this is is that this is no extra cost so when you buy something through Sweetwater you get a two-year warranty um, so essentially if that same problem happens if you get some of the guitars that I'm going to suggest in this beginner's guide through Sweetwater um, and your electrical components fail, Sweetwater is going to make 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 you whole, and they're going to stand by the two-year warranty in order to um, you know either fix or replace um, your guitar, which is really really nice. So, and this is this is no extra cost. This is just them um, being an industry leader and having that overall. So that is really the biggest reason that I would suggest Sweetwater. 
Okay, so when it comes to gear, um, what I would suggest is getting, and so I'm gonna basically lay out three different uh, versions of gear that you can get. They're all essentially starter packs um, that you can get at Sweetwater. But I'm gonna kinda go with a low cost version, a medium cost version, and then a slightly higher cost version. So again, this is just meant to be you know, a comprehensive guide. I'm a beginner, I don't know anything about guitar. What would you suggest? And so um, the first place I would start is looking at this Epiphone Les Paul player pack. Um, and they actually have it both in the black here and then the vintage sunburst that looks like, which that's a pretty nice color as well. And so what I like about these starter packs is that one very, I think, affordable. So currently 270 um, at the end of 2023 here. The other thing is that you essentially get um, some major components um, in the pack as well. So obviously you get the guitar, you get a gig bag, which is nice. Um, you get a amp here. So one thing that I like about this pack when I pulled it up is that it has a dedicated headphone jack for just kind of typical headphones. So if you just have any type of headphones, it's a, that's a one eighth um, jack on this amp. And so you don't need any type of special converter or um, a quarter inch jack uh, headphone plug-in. Um, you can basically just put any type of headphones in here. The other thing that I look at uh, in terms of amps is the auxiliary in as well, which essentially allows you to plug in your phone and you can play um, you can play your guitar through the amp and have uh, backing tracks in the background from your phone as well. So that's very important. Um, and then it's just got some basic settings that most amps have in here. So what this is going to include for the 270 is the guitar, the gig bag, the, um, the amp, which is nice, uh, the cord for the amp, a tuner as well, um, and is that's going to be an essential piece of gear. Um, a guitar strap, and then the plug for the amp. And so um, the tuner obviously is important because you need to know how to tune your guitar. Um, you could always use your phone to tune your guitar if you really wanted to save like a little bit of money there. But I would recommend at least one of these headstock tuners to get started. And just looking at the guitar a little bit more in uh, overall. Essentially, it's going to have um, two humbuckers, and so just what that means in the in the pickups is that um, those are essentially the magnets um, in the guitar that amplify the sound. Um, and hum humbuckers have been historically known to be, um, you know, used for like rock music. Um, essentially, you can use a hum humbucker for for anything, but essentially the humbucker is going to give you more output. So a guitar like this, this is going to give you probably a lot of output. Um, just being an Epiphone um, with humbuckers, um, but there's no single coils and it doesn't look like there's any single coil tapping on this guitar, which just basically means that um, it's a little bit more limited compared to the next two guitars that I'm gonna compare this to. It's got a master volume and a master tone and a three-way pickup, which just essentially means that you can play in the neck pickup, the middle pickup, or the middle. Um, so that's the neck pickup right there. The middle, it can, which basically just kind of bridges um, the gap between both of them, and then this bottom one is the bridge pickup. Um, and so, basically, it just the three-way switch just allows you to be able to play with each of those. <clears throat> um, one tough thing about, I would say for for this one um, in particular, is it's got the 10 gauge strings on them, which are very common set of strings. But I think for a beginner guitar player, that might be a little bit difficult to play on um, and again there's going to be exceptions right there's going to be uh, the thing about playing guitar is that everybody's different um, the, the, the thing about this though is that we want to make guitar playing for you as easy as possible and so with 10 gauge strings um, those are going to be a little bit harder to press down to play and so um, basically this is kind of the bottom E string or the uh, the higher higher pitched E string if you will and this is the the bass um, E string um, here so that's kind of the way to read it basically the higher the number um, for the string gauge the um, usually the more difficult the, the thicker the strings are and usually the more difficult to play are but again this is a very common string set um, so I'm just kind of giving the, you the pros and the cons so the, the pros um, for this one is that you know the guitar and pack is very affordable you get some cool gear in here um, which is really really nice I would say like some downsides to it is that the the options with the pickups are limited um, it only has a three-way switch compared to like a five-way switch for um, for a fender um, for example 
and then uh, the string gauge just might be a little bit heavier for a beginner but again if, if you do learn on a heavier string set to begin with then um, every everything else is going to be a little bit easier okay so a couple other things that i would pick up um, overall is and these are i would say essentials so the first thing that i would get that is not included in this pack is a string winder and a string cutter um, so essentially what this is going to do is it's going to help you change your strings out. Um, this is going to allow you to cut the strings to uh, replace them. And then this bottom part here allows you to, to wind um, your tuning pegs to be able to get the strings off more easily. So you can see at Sweetwater, this is currently $11 um, overall. I would say this is a must have, and this is essentially how you'd use it. You would wind the strings here. C can you manually do it um, without this? Yes, but it's going to be painful to do. So um, it's gonna be very time consuming. So I would recommend picking up one of these. Um, in addition to that, this isn't necessarily essential, but I think it's it's pretty close to essential or it definitely makes your life easier. So in addition to the string winder, I would consider getting this music uh, Nomad Premium work mat and Cradle Cube. And essentially what this does is this is a mat that allows you to put your guitar on. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, and then this cradle cube allows you to kind of support the neck and then you would change the strings by um, winding here, taking the strings off and replacing them. Um, so again, like you could, you don't necessarily need this, um, but this is like a really crucial thing to have. And why I'm uh, talking about string changing and, and things like that is that I know as a beginner for me, I was so terrified when I got my first guitar to break a string. Um, it is gonna happen. And so why I suggest getting this gear up front um, in addition to the guitar pack is to just be prepared for that because I don't want anything to deter you from playing guitar. So um, when you break a string on the guitar, um, I want you to be prepared to have the necessary tools to change them out. And that's gonna just continue to motivate you to play the instrument overall. So I would recommend getting this again, 35 bucks. You can also just get the cube or I believe just get the map, but I would just get this. Um, in addition to the string winder. And then the last piece of gear that I'd recommend is getting a set of extra strings. Um, this is the string gauge for um, the string set for this guitar um, that it comes with. So, um, and the reason again, is that you are going to break a string or maybe multiple strings. Um, and so instead of kind of just being scared about that, you have all the necessary things to be able to change your strings. Um, that way you're back to playing um, overall. So really for the starter set here, um, all in you're looking at a 330 um, without tax. Uh, shipping would be free at this point. So you're probably looking at, you know, 350, 360 or so depending on where you live with tax. Um, so this would be the absolute starter set. This is what my cart would look like. This is what I would get um, if I was a beginner and I wanted the most effective budget friendly um, guitar playing uh, set, if you will. Um, with all of the necessary components. All right, everybody. So we reviewed the kind of budget friendly um, version with the Epiphone. This is essentially the next tier that I would suggest. Um, and this is actually what I got personally as my first guitar was the Squire Affin Affinity HSS pack. I'll explain what all that means, but essentially this is um, the Squire, which is a uh, line of Fender. Um, kind of their version of the starter pack. And you can see it's about $80 to $90 more. Um, so essentially, what do you get? And what are the differences between that, uh, the, the first guitar that I compared, the Epiphone versus this guitar? Um, so first of all, you can get this one in blue or black. I always think colors matter when it comes to guitar. Um, just kind of what, what, what looks good for you and what do you, you know, see yourself playing overall. So a couple looks and finishes that are different, but essentially, what you're going to get is, uh, I believe, slightly bigger amp. So um, this one's going to just have a little bit more output. Um, the thing about this amp, though, is that the headphone jack is a one-fourth um, uh, headphone jack. So essentially, that just means that you cannot plug standard headphones into this. You would actually need um, a specific jack. And so I pulled up an example of this here. You can see that that jack, uh, that's essentially um, you know, very similar to a guitar cable, um, the one fourth, um, that you would need something like this. So you would need a pair of headphones like this. Um, these are $80. You could find cheaper versions of this on Amazon, <clears throat> but essentially if you wanted to go with this pack, 
and you wanted to have the headphones, which I, I do suggest because if you do have someone else living in your household, or if you live in an apartment, things like that, you need to play silently. I think the headphones is very um, important. So you need kind of something like this that has a one fourth uh, quarter inch um, uh, converter, if you will. Let me talk, talk about some of the positives though. Um, some of the positives of this one, this is, um, this is, again, this is what I got and this is what I would um, suggest. So a couple of differences is it, it's got single coils, which just essentially means that um, the coils are what essentially, I, we might be able to see it a little bit easier on the blue here. So essentially you can see that there are just um, two lines or two strips there. Those are the magnets or the, or the, um, the single coils there at the top and in the middle there. And then it's got kind of two at the bottom um, which is just two of the coils doubled up or it's also called a humbucker and so essentially why i'm suggesting this guitar as the second one is that this is going to give you more um, options between the single coil and the humbucker the previous guitar only had two humbuckers and no ability that i saw to be able to split the coils meaning that you can't make them single coils so um essentially that this just gives you more flexibility in your guitar there's also the whammy bar there you can see there um, off of the bridge. Um, so that just gives you some additional um, playing capabilities with the whammy bar, um, if that is of interest to you. Um, the other thing too, is we can see down here, it's got two tone knobs. So it's gonna be able to give you, just produce more tones essentially. And it's got the five way blade, which is ba basically means that you can, you know, combine the, the neck, the middle and the bridge can, uh, positions or pickups um, five different ways instead of three different ways for the previous guitar and then this has a slightly um, lower uh, or easier to play string gauge so it's the 9 to 42 instead of the 10 to 46 um, in the previous guitar so for a beginner this is going to be easier to press down um, or for anybody it's going to be easier to press down because the string, string gauge is lighter but as a beginner it's very very important to just um, be motivated to be able to pick up the instrument. And I think having lighter string gauge, in this case, with, with this guitar is gonna um, hopefully motivate you to pick up the guitar. Um, so some of the positives is that you're just gonna be able to probably get some more tones out of here with the abilities, with the single coils, the humbuckers, the tone option, the two tone options, the five-way blade, and then the lighter gauge strings um, are a positive. The other thing that you get here is you get three months of Fender Play, which Fender Play is uh, Fender's, uh, and Fender is the company. Um, it's, a, it's a major guitar manufacturing company that is well known. Um, you get three months of their um, guitar um, playing course, if you will. And this is exactly the, where I started. I got one of these um, guitar, these Affinity guitar packs. I got the Fender Play, and it was really nice to just have a course to go through and to pick out um, just to be able to go through. Um, I am going to suggest another course as well um, later, but this is this essentially gives you the three months of the Fender Play. So for the $80, you basically will get more tone options, um, easier to play strings. And again, you can put the these, these same string gauges on the other guitar, but this just comes set up um, with that. Then you get the three months of the Fender Play as well um, and the slightly bigger amp. So um, so my, like, my overall recommendation would be something like this to, to spring... Uh, for a little bit extra money and to basically pick up something like this and I can speak to this just just because I did you know pick up one of these personally so essentially your cart if you wanted to do that would be um, this so it would be the the, the the pack that we just went over we would go over the, um, the the string winder and cutter and then the music nomad um, work mat and the cradle cube this is the, the replacement strings for the guitar. I do, again, recommend having a replacement set um, right when you get your, your guitar for the first time, just because you are gonna break a string. And instead of being like overwhelmed and like, oh my goodness, what do I do? Um, you already have a string set ready to go and you've got the tools to be able to change out the strings. And then I would just simply just look up how to change strings you know, from YouTube and it's going to be able to, um, YouTube's gonna be able to guide you there. And then I just added the headphones here. Um, so kind of your all in cost is, is you know, you're, you're right under 500 bucks for this case. Um, I would say you can get cheaper headphones definitely through Amazon. Um, the, the important thing is if you get this pack with this amp, you're going to have to get a, um, 
a headphone, something like this that has the one fourth um, inch jack, which again, just as a as a reminder or review, is that right there? That's the one fourth, and then what it comes with, you can see that's the one eighth, or that's the one that kind of a standard headphone um, jack, if you will. So for this pack, you're looking at five, uh, a little under five hundred dollars, but this is going to be able to give you more versatility, more tones um, overall. Okay, so for my third and final um, guitar pack recommendation, I would consider the Squire Affinity um, also an HSS, but uh, just a different kind of configuration. So it's the FMT um, overall. And so you can, the nice thing you can see on, on the Sweetwater website is that they, um, at least at the end of 2023, they have these bundles. So you could just buy the guitar or you could buy the packs. Again, if you're a beginner, you probably don't have any of this gear. So the only difference between these two um, is that this one does not come with the amp and this one does come with the amp. So if you are a beginner, you're gonna need an amp. And so we're just gonna go with this one. And so um, one thing about this one, again, if I just look at the amp, so we'll, you know, I, first of all, I think the guitar is beautiful. I love the black, I love the maple um, fingerboard. But if we're just looking at the amp again, it's got a one eighth um, headphone jack um, here. So basically you can just use any headphones to plug into this, um, which is really, really nice. Um, the other thing I failed to mention with the other recommendations is the aux in. So um, I would just get an auxiliary uh, cable from Amazon. Essentially, this first one would be what you would what, what you would get. So this is essentially going to allow you to plug into your phone. Um, you might need like a converter, like for iPhones. I know I needed just a converter to be able to um, plug this end into that converter into the iPhone, but that's like a three dollar part. So this is essentially what I got. Um, it's super cheap. You can also get these at Sweetwater, but um, I usually just get cables from Amazon. With this amp, um, you are you would have the one the one eighth headphone jack here. So you would save a little bit of money by not having to buy another pair of headphones. It's going to give you everything: the tuner, the strap. Um, this also has a guitar stand as well, which is nice. Um, again, not like necessary, but just. It does help because if you don't have one of these, you're essentially just going to be putting your guitar on the floor or, you know, in a corner somewhere or up against something. Um, and it's, it's just more prone to get knocked down. So this would be my final recommendation just because this has kind of, I think, everything you need in addition to some of the other gear that we looked at. And so what I like about this is it's got the single coils, the humbucker, um, the two tone knobs, the five-way blade, and then the nine gauge strings, essentially. So this, this, the reason that this is my final recommendation, um, if I, you know, could do it over again, go back in time and tell myself, you know, what to get, I would essentially get um, the kit we just looked at. I would get this kit, um, even though it is the most expensive. I do think you get the most bang for your buck. Um, you get the most vers versatility in terms of the tones and the knobs and things like that. So all in with this pack. So we're looking at just about 500 bucks. So this, this would be my final recommendation. You can see that this is just about $10 more expensive than the last pack. And you, you get a much bigger amp. Um, the reason being is that you don't have to buy those headphones, right? You don't have to buy the, the quarter inch. So, um, but this is exactly what my cart would look like. I would definitely, I just, first of all, I love the look of this guitar. You get a tuner, you get the strap, you get picks, you get a stand, you get um, everything that needs to go into the amp. You got an extra set of strings in the event that you break a string. And then you have the ability to change the strings with these uh, two components. The only other thing that you would need that I can think of is that auxiliary jack. And again, you could just, I would just go to Amazon and just get this the Amazon basics. Um, and so again, this will allow you to plug your phone into the amp and you can hear, um, you could basically put a backing track on. Um, you can, you can put a backing track um, through your amp. And so that is how I practice. I just, you know, throw a backing track into my amp and I'm able to play over the track overall so you're basically looking with tax probably about 540 for the solution um you know again if that is too much money then you can go back to um, the epiphone which is going to be you know, about 375 or so um with tax so going to sweetwater getting the gear you get the two-year guarantee with every with with everything so if you know if your guitar components just are fried if just after a year and a half they just stop working you know sweetwater is going to back that guarantee and they're going to assist you with either getting it repaired or just replacing it outright um, and again they're super easy to work with as well so 
now you have your gear. So let's just say, you know, hey, this is this is what you you really like this guitar. You're like, okay, this is for me. Really want to pick up this, you know, equipment. Get shipped to you. You get your guitar. Where then do you start? Where where would I suggest someone start learning guitar? So now that you've gotten your gear, I would definitely um, suggest starting with um, a website called Justin Guitar to start learning. And what this is essentially what I did. I got my Fender pack, right? I, I went through and got, you know, one of these. I got the three months of Fender play. I started learning through Fender. Um, and then I, I quickly learned about Justin. And what I love about Justin is that um, his courses are free. He does have some paid stuff in here, but um, if you just go to justinguitarguitar.com, he has um, just tons of content in here. Um, and you can see it's by level. So you would start at beginner uh, grade one all, and he has all the way up to grade seven, which um, even after like two years, I'm only in grade three, maybe. I think I'm in grade three, I'm somewhere around here, but um, he's got a lot of stuff in here. And what I like about Justin Guitar, first of all, is that all of this is free. And so um, anything that doesn't have a dollar sign next to it is free. All of his, all of his beginner, intermediate and advanced guitar lessons are um, free. If you wanted to pay for a music theory class, you could, or like a strumming, like, hey, I want to learn more and work on my strumming. Um, but one thing I like is that his, his website is very, very easy to use. So if we just take a look at the website here and we just go into beginner grade one, um, he makes it very easy to just understand. Um, I believe most of his guitar courses are on the app as well, um, but you can just see here, just starting from the very beginning, right? You got your stuff from Sweetwater, you're going through courses, um, you know, where to start. So here we go, guitar basics, learning your first song, um, chord changes, um, metronome. I mean, there's just a ton in here, um, just even looking at the beginning. So even if we just go inside module zero, this is guitar basics. And you can see the very first lesson is how to tune your guitar, right? Makes sense. We gotta kind of know how to tune our guitar. And one thing I love about Justin, so it is a video format, um, you can actually see how long the lessons are. Um, and if you do it within the website, you can actually favor it or kind of heart which lessons you like so that way you can go back into them. And this is what I love about Justin is first of all, he makes it very easy to understand. Um, his courses are really, you know, built to, you know, appeal to the masses, if you will. So um, it's video uh, based. Um, and then what I love down here is that he actually goes through a detailed description of um, explaining it. So after the video, like one thing I really like is that you can actually get more detail in the learning more. He actually, you know, describes basically what the video lesson is, like how to how to use a guitar tuner, um, best tuner for beginners. He actually has some, like some specific recommendations here for tuners, <clears throat> which is really cool. Um, and then he can say, like he, is, he even has a free tuner through his own um, app as well. So I I love this website. Um, you would learn so much. And even just looking at the grade one, um, if you just took all these courses, you'd be well on your way. Um, I mean, it's even getting into module six, six of, of six, eight time. Um, there's a lot in here. Um, this would take you probably a while to get through. But what I love about Justin's course is that he just does such a great job of teaching guitar and it's all free. The other cool thing is that you can learn on YouTube. So this exact lesson um, I pulled up in YouTube, here it is, how to tune your guitar for beginners, right? So if you really just like didn't, weren't for whatever reason interested in going through the website, um, all of his lessons are free on YouTube, which is pretty cool. Um, I would suggest it, suggest going through the website, making a profile. You can see I'm not even signed in and I'm able to access this video. So, um, what I would suggest is making a profile because the profile is going to track your progress and your you could do things like favorite lessons and things like that. You can go back. It just it, it it's really like a classroom setting for guitar, which is great. He even has this like not sure where to start, like a lesson map. He actually has like a lesson map for beginners um, and what you would learn in each grade, which is really, really cool. So this is like pretty cool. So if you're just like confused and like, I don't know where to start. You know, the grade one is is, easy, is um, a good place to, to start, but he has kind of a lesson map. And then the nice thing is that there's additional things that can be utilized in here. And it's all free, that's a great thing. Anything that doesn't have a dollar sign is free on his website. Um, and you, you would learn a tremendous amount from Justin. Um, and he's just, he's just a, seems like a great guy and a great teacher. So um, I'm still, 
even years into my guitar journey, learning so much. Um, I'm nowhere near completed uh, for his courses. So this is where I would suggest anybody to start learning guitar um, is through the Justin Guitar uh, website. So I've got a couple practical tips to offer um, everybody out there who's watched the video. So my first tip would be to stick with guitar at least three months. The reason being is that um, guitar, in my opinion, is a very difficult instrument to learn, especially if you started learning a little bit later in life like me. Um, you're going to have challenges. Uh, things might not make sense. Uh, I think the biggest thing that will definitely happen is your fingers will start to hurt as you start playing. Um, but that gets better over time. Um, so just make a commitment to stick with it at least 90 days. Um, work on something at least a little bit every day um, and it will get easier over time and then from there I would say you know look at potentially setting a six-month goal and then after that a year goal but um, you know if you're gonna commit to it I would say at least commit to this for three months you know go through the courses go through Justin's uh, uh, begun go through Justin's beginner guitar course and um, just at least make a commitment to yourself that if you're if you're gonna go through this do do it at least 90 days the other practical tip that I have is, um, you know, really getting motivated and thinking about a song that you really, really want to learn on guitar. There might be multiple songs or there might be a particular artist that you love. I know for me, I particularly love Linkin Park. Linkin Park's my all-time favorite band. And I really, really, when I started, wanted to learn the song What I've Done. <laughs> So what I've done is just, you know, one of my all-time favorite songs. It was my ringtone in high school, actually. And um, the good thing about what I've done is that, at least on rhythm guitar, um, it's a very, very, um, it's not too complicated. It's definitely a song that a beginner could learn. Um, so luckily, the song that I picked um, and wanted to learn, um, I was able to do as a beginner. And so I just remembered it in the beginning of my guitar journey. I worked on that song outside of the Justin guitar uh, course. Just worked on it little by little, um, built it up until um, after you know a few weeks of, of working on it. it. Might have even been a few months. Um, I remember one afternoon I was finally able to fully play the whole song, and I was just so stoked. So, my next piece of advice would be to pick a song or an artist that you really that motivates you to pick up the guitar, because that's what guitar is all about. It's about playing songs, it's about playing cool riffs, it's about you know really getting inspired to pick up the instrument to play the things that you want to play. So. Um, and put it into writing, commit it to writing, and uh, really start to work on that song um, outside of the Justin Guitar uh, course. YouTube is actually a really, really good place to learn songs, so if you're really struggling on how to, how to play a song or what to do, um, there's so many great tutorials out there on YouTube, especially if it's a well-known uh, song or a well-covered song. Um, there's going to be a ton of tutorials out there. So like a band like Link Linkin Park, for example, um, there's a ton of guitar tutorials. Um, on YouTube specifically. Okay, so that concludes today's video. So let me know down in the comments, um, was there something uh, more that I can answer? Was there something that was maybe vague about or that I could cover more? Um, let me know your thoughts, um, especially if you've gone through the journey of picking up the instrument and starting Justin's uh, course. Like, let me know your experiences. I would love to hear from you. If you found value in the video as well, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel for more um, awesome content in the future. Thanks so much, everybody. See you in the next one.